I'm Nick Collin, I'm the principal conductor of Aurora Orchestra and we're coming here to Camden's legendary Roundhouse on Saturday the 25th of February for a concert we've called Love Song for the City. It's in three parts, starting with Strauss's Metamorphosen, an extraordinary work just for strings. The second part, Michael Gordon's Gotham, uh, with film by Bill Morrison. And then the third part is West Side Story, Bernstein's uh, symphonic dances from his famous musical. And I guess all these three pieces have as a common thread uh, a, a sort of theme of being written for or about a particular city. I'll tell you a bit about the three pieces. So the Strauss Metamorphosen, a piece written in 1945 when the composer was right at the end of his life. The Allied bombs were raining down upon Munich, Dresden and other German cities. And he wrote this piece which I suppose is like a, a summation of, of hope and grief and it's going to be a great joy to play it in this acoustic here. For the second part, we swing over to the other side of the Atlantic. I don't think I've ever had as intense a reaction to a piece of music as I have to Michael Gordon's Gotham. It's not just the music, it's also the film by uh, Bill Morrison, which shows images of New York, but in a way which I find incredibly intense. You just have to experience it to see what I mean. And I think, again, this, this venue is the perfect place to experience something like that. Part three of the programme, Bernstein's West Side Story. The symphonic dances from his iconic musical. Everyone knows West Side Story, the musical, the film. But we're actually performing an arrangement which distills it down to a slightly smaller chamber orchestra. So you get some of the vitality and the virtuosity that Bernstein intended for his original musical setting. It's a great arrangement of a fantastic piece that will leave you dancing, we hope in the aisles. So three pieces, each written with a love for a particular city, performed here at the Roundhouse, which is one of our city's greatest venues. The concert's also going to be streamed live on the Guardian website. So if you can't make it here to the Roundhouse, we hope that you might be able to watch it online.